Welcome back to Lookout. We're in the middle of our uh, Christmas, New Year's snow flurry action up here in Lassen County. Up in Westwood, I'm walking around doing a little snowshoeing up here in a forest that I grew up in. This is kind of just right out the back of my folks' house. And um, it's a lot of snow. It's the most snow I've seen here for a long time. Uh, I was thinking maybe there's been three or four times in my life we've seen this much snow up here. But we're walking around and um, you know we're only about a mile, mile and a half from where the Dixie fire stopped this summer. And so it kind of puts a new flavor to being up here, being at my folks' house and looking at photos and looking at these woods. Uh, we're snowshoeing today, just out the back. And uh, really glad this didn't burn. So we're out here on land that was um, cut heavily starting over a hundred years ago. Uh, in the 19 teens, the Walker family came out from Minnesota. They had a lot of land in Minnesota and uh, a timber fortune there and pretty much they ran out of big trees to cut. So they came here to Westwood, west of Minnesota and lots of wood. And they cut all the big trees down. So within, you know, 40 years of them arriving here, um, the big trees were pretty much gone and the mill closed down, I think in the mid fifties. So, you know, over 60 years ago. So I had a great talk recently. I went for a ride with the um, forester, Ryan Hilburn, who manages all this land for a company called Beatty. And he told me a, a bit about the history and basically that, um, because the big trees had all been cut off and the forest was mainly smaller trees. Um, the Walker family and Beatty, they've had a strategy for um, decades now to kind of grow back the volume per acre of trees and standing board feet. And they've kind of accomplished that in a lot of places. So their strategy for that was never cut more than about three quarters of the volume of the trees that were growing at any given time. So, to me, with that, what stands out about that is I've been walking around in these woods for 40 years, right out the back door of my folks' house here, and it doesn't really look any different. They've logged it, but the trees here have kind of kept up. Um, they've logged the bigger trees, and then uh, younger trees have kind of become the bigger trees. And so that's um, what we call sustained yield in forestry, is that you're, you're growing as much as you're cutting. And the only problem with that, you know, kind of from a fire and landscape perspective is just that there isn't really such thing as sustained yield when we cut old growth. You know, so they cut down a lot of trees that were three or 400 years old and it'll take, you know, hundreds of years for these trees here to become old growth. And so those days in the 1900s, early 1900s, mid 1900s, where we were logging all the old growth, we were kind of tree mining basically, you know, Trees are a renewable resource, but old growth is not. And the big implication for us here and for people like Beatty and the Walker family is just that now we have a landscape that is full of smaller trees. And these trees are susceptible to forest fire in ways that old growth aren't. You know, so the small trees that come in behind me here, um, those can carry a fire that's burning on the ground up into the crowns of the trees. And even though the forest is pretty widely spaced here, uh, areas near here with similar forest conditions in the Dixie Fire, a lot of it when the weather wasn't um, cooperating, when the weather was extreme, we, we burned up every tree. So there's a need for us to kind of pivot now and to rethink. Um, you know, for a long time, I think we, we underestimated what was possible for a fire to do here. We looked at these nice, well-spaced trees and we thought that this was pretty fire resilient forest. And the Dixie Fire has shown us that under the worst conditions or even um, just under bad conditions, uh, we can still lose every tree in a stand like this. So part of that way forward is I think, you know, trying to um, get to a point where we have more big trees back on the landscape. You know, 
increase the percentage of the landscape that is in a more fire resilient condition and to get fire on the ground in here. And one of the nice things about having a forest like this that is thinned is it is easier to use prescribed fire here. And prescribed fire is gonna be one of those tools that helps us reduce the fire hazards. Anyway, um, so relieved that this didn't burn in a Dixie fire. Um, so grateful for all the hard work of the you know thousands of people that were out here making sure that, that this didn't burn in a Dixie fire. Grateful to the foresters who've been managing this land my whole life, um, who are learning along with the rest of us. Grateful to the Walker family for um, doing their best to um, manage this land sustainably and learning, you know, learning from the, um, from the past. But mainly just grateful <laughs> it didn't all burn. Hey, Ma. Hi. The so, do you feel like you've seen the forest change here much in your lifetime? Well, definitely, yes. Uh -huh. In some ways. Uh -huh. In other ways, it still has a sort of barren quality to it, but it's very much itself. Uh -huh. And you can always sit under a tree and relax anytime and anywhere. Uh -huh. We're like five minutes from your house here. That's incredible. Yeah. And I remember when they cut a lot of trees and I felt bad, and then Jack said, no, it's good, we get to see more sun coming through. Uh -huh. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. It changed my attitude about it. Uh -huh. So that's good. Yeah. Memories. Frisbee golf. Yeah, this is the frisbee golf course. Huh? That was important. Yeah, I spent a lot of time out here. You guys, something to do after school. Yeah, we played a lot. That's good. Into our 30s. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. Uncle Jack. All right, thanks. Thank you, Zeke. Do you feel like the woods here has changed much in your lifetime? It's been a long time since I've seen it with this much snow. Uh -huh. um, so it looks different. If it's slower going, you notice more when you're walking. Uh -huh. But I don't remember much else that's different. I like our backyard. Yeah, I remember cutting Christmas trees right here. What I have to remember next year is to take off the screen door and the back door before we get so much snow. Yeah. So we could just go out the door instead of around the house. How much snow do you think we have? Well, at least three feet in level spots. Uh -huh. Like the roof of the woodshed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good as it ever was. Do you feel like you've seen the woods? Do you feel like you've seen the woods change here over the course of your lifetime, or do you feel like it kind of stays about the same? Well, not much. They did some logging on this area not so long ago. They took out, you know, I guess the bigger trees, uh -huh. but they didn't really do much thinning or anything like that. 